Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, the Sun and the Knight of Cups. Your person's energy is Nine of Pentacles, Justice Major Arcana, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, Meeting Energies, King of Swords, Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Our Focus, Hanged Man, A Standby, Awaiting, An Uncomfortable Situation, Bottom of the Deck, Temperance, Patient approach, guys, in order to embrace a divine alchemy. Bottom of the temperance, we have a different balancing act. Uh, the six of pentacles, which should be a fair and fair exchange in order to avoid the one man up, one man down dynamic. This can be a situation like that. Because this person is trying to be single and free from an old connection the justice can be about legal matters for them guys and some of you are waiting seven of pentacles two of pentacles also no need to worry let's uh, take it as an encouragement ask your angels it can be even an energy that follows the hermit bottom of the deck we have compromise which is the temperance keys on a ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand there can be passion and maybe intimacy that uh, was uh, shared between some of you guys and some of your special persons but it is possible that a conversation has been already shared when it comes to the fact that this connection cannot be just a matter of passion kind of behind the curtains you know some of you truly uh, want the sun for this connection and that's why this person has to break free from an old situation mirror mirroring each other self image relationships reflect our wounds introspection which is the hermit basically or the hanged man if we want to um, the chaser, bottom of the deck, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment, issue. Well, if there is an issue here, um, it's something about the old connection for this person. And so, guys, this person can leave behind even a marriage, four of wands, ten of cups. It is also fair to say that um, that situation was not able to live up to the expectations. That's why maybe there was a realization and a decision in order to close it and leave it behind. Um, the four of ones, ten of cups combination can also describe the vision that this person was able to see when it comes to a connection with you guys but if that's the case this is a remarkable combination of energies and considering how some of you can be willing to share your love with this person the connection has to be set in the proper way there cannot be leftovers uh, coming from an old connection that, who knows, um, may play out as obstacles. That's why the uncomfortable position, the hanged man, 
This is an energy that cannot be rushed, just like the Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Pentacles is another energy that can follow the time factor, uh, just like the Seven of Pentacles. You are patiently waiting for this person to be free. Um, they may have uh, told you that they are doing all they can uh, to even make the process faster or a little bit faster, but if there is a justice moment a justice a turning point, maybe the time factor is out of the control of this person. And that's why the Hermit Seven of Pentacles, for some of you, is truly an exercise in patience. Because the Hermit is truly an energy about an introspection, the Hermit is willing to embrace a moment of solitude, so guys, you are single basically in this flow. Um, you may have thought long and well about this person and about your connection, the one that you are truly hoping to establish in the best possible way. The waiting can be the hardest part, um, I can understand it, but you have to keep doing the things that are part of your everyday life, you have to keep shining bright, following the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck, yes, but also an energy about inner happiness. And so, there is the encouragement in favor of you guys to keep doing your best in the everyday life, uh, because if the connection is meant to be, this person may just have to uh, kind of uh, sign papers, let's say, in order to break free from the old situation, so that then they can be with you, but there is a nuance that is deserving to be addressed. If we follow the Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands uh, combination of energies uh, in the meeting, There can be a conversation between the two of you that follows what we have uh, shared in the beginning of the reading about the passion factor that is involved in this connection. Because this person can say to you, look, um, let's be together even if I am not completely free yet. You know, because we enjoy the passionate side of our connection and we can start to work things out together. But some of you are kind of called to channel the King of Swords energy when it comes to the necessity to address all the issues that can be involved in this situation in order to avoid to fall for a pattern that may be influenced by the sexual side of your connection, yes, but not in a way that is productive for the future of this connection. That's why the Seven of Cups can be about questions and doubts, but we have to break a loop, we have to break a cycle, the cycle that um, has to be broken when it comes to the Two of Pentacles is related to the old connection of this person. They have to be free. The Nine of Pentacles energy. We know that the lady is looking for a fair companion. You can be a fair companion for this person. This person can be a fair companion for you guys. They can be someone deserving to receive the Knight of Cups energy. Let's say the willingness to open our heart but there cannot be a chasing game when it comes to the sexual side of the connection if this person is not yet free because uh, that would be a woman up woman down dynamic a situation that is not fair not respectful and that's why there is a meaningful introspection that some of you guys have to fulfill. The temperance is 
an energy that talks about a, a mature approach, the willingness to look for common grounds, yes, even the willingness to compromise if there is a time factor involved, but without forgetting virtues and values that are important for us. So there can be passion. I do not feel that we are talking about a player uh, in this flow, but there cannot be a one night stand, you know, just to please our senses and then the connection goes back uh, behind the curtains, you know. This connection can be deserving of a sun energy that is truly in the daylight, you know. Everything is clear, everything is uh, transparent, because there is a ton of potential, by the way. But the foundations have to be set in the proper way, in a respectful way, because this is the key um, to allow the connection to move forward in a reliable and stable way. That's why some of you guys uh, may have to be brave, you may have to gather uh, your courage in order to speak up and kind of say, look, I am willing to be patient in order to give this connection a chance, but the cup of love coming from the Knight of Cups is going to be shared only when you are free, only when this person is truly and at the 100% free. And they know that because the justice can be even about a, a right and fair decision and so if they want to do things right with you guys um, they are going to understand um, your point of view and this is a good sign when it comes to the maturity that can pay off in favor of the connection moving forward so a touch of patience still guys but it is fair to say that the new connection, the one that can be uh, embraced as soon as this person is free, is a promising one. Maybe even a long time coming for some of you. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.